Hi everyone, so in this tutorial I'm going to show you how to crochet this really cute bonnet. So this bonnet can be made in four different sizes, in size newborn, 0 to 6 months, 6 to 12 months and 1 to 3 years. And in this tutorial we are going to go over the instructions for how to make size 1 to 3 years. But if you'd like to make any of the different sizes then they are all included in the written pattern. And I will leave a link to where you can find the written pattern in the description box below this video. So these bonnets also have a matching cardigan. So here we have the matching cardigan and the stitch work is the same, so they match. And I will leave a link to the tutorial for this cardigan in the description box below this video as well. So for these bonnets, you will need a four millimeter crochet hook and DK weight yarn. So thank you very much for watching and please make sure to subscribe to my channel for more crochet videos. So you want to begin by making a magic circle. So to do a magic circle, take your yarn and take your finger and wrap the yarn around your finger once. And you then want to wrap the yarn back over your finger to create a cross like that. You then want to take your crochet hook and go underneath the first loop of the cross and you may need to pull it up a little bit, but go underneath this first loop and then you want to pick up the second loop and pull it through. And then you can take your finger out and there we have a magic circle and we're ready to begin round one. So to begin round one, you want to chain one and this chain one does not count as a stitch. This just locks our magic circle into place. So now for round one, we are going to work 10 double crochets into the magic circle. So 10 double crochets. So you want to yarn over and go down into the magic circle, yarn over and pull up a loop, and then you want to yarn over and go through two loops, and then yarn over and go through the final two loops on your hook. So there we have one double crochet, and now we're going to yarn over, go back down into the circle, and make a second double crochet in the same way, and you want to keep going until you have 10. So there I have finished working those 10 double crochets into the magic circle for round one. And now to finish off this round, we are going to close up the magic circle and join. So to close up the circle, you want to take this end here and you want to pull this nice and tight like that. And then to join, we're going to work a slip stitch into the first double crochet that we worked. So here is the first double crochet. And if you're not sure which stitch to go into, then you can count back 10 stitches. So count back 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. Go into this stitch and then yarn over and go through both loops to work a slip stitch. So there we have finished round one and now we can move on to round two. So to begin this round you want to chain one and turn and this chain one does not count as a stitch. So now for round two we are just going to work two double crochets into each stitch. So we're going to yarn over and go down into this first stitch here and work one double crochet and then you want to work a second double crochet down into the same stitch like that. And now yarn over and go into the next stitch and do two double crochets both into this one. And you want to keep repeating that all the way around for round two. Two double crochets into each and every stitch. So 
So I have finished working that all the way around for round two. So I did two double crochets into this last stitch here. And at the end of round two, you should have 20 stitches. And now to finish off this round, we're going to go into the first double crochet that we worked and work a slip stitch. So there we have finished round two and now we can move on to round three. So to begin this round, you want to chain one and turn and this chain one does not count as a stitch. So we're going to start off by going down into the first stitch and work two double crochets. So we're going to yarn over, go down into this first stitch here and we're going to work two double crochets both into this one. And now we're going to go into the next stitch here and we're going to work one double crochet. And now go into the next stitch, so yarn over, get into this next stitch here and work two double crochets into this one. And now work one double crochet into the next stitch. And we're going to keep working this all the way around for round three. We're going to do two double crochets into the next stitch and then one into the next, then two into the next and one into the next all the way around. Okay, so like that, so I have worked that all the way around for round three, and at the end of this round, you should have 30 stitches. So I finished off by working one double crochet into the last stitch at the end. And now to finish off this round, you want to work a slip stitch into the first double crochet that you worked. And now we can move on to round four. So to begin this round, chain one and turn, and this does not count as a stitch. So in this round, we're going to do two double crochets into the first stitch, one double crochet into the next stitch, and then one double crochet into the next. And we're going to repeat that all the way around. So we're going to do two, one, one, two, one, one, all the way around for round four. So work two double crochets both into the first stitch. And now do one double crochet into this next one and then one into the next. And now repeat that again. So do two double crochets into the next stitch. One into the next one. And one into the next. And continue to repeat that for round four. we have come to the end of round four and at the end of this round you should have 40 stitches and we're going to finish off with a slip stitch into the first double crochet as usual and now we can move on to round five so chain one and turn and this does not count as a stitch and this round follows the same pattern so last round we did two double crochets into one stitch and one double crochet into two stitches all the way around and for round five, we're going to do two double crochets into one stitch and then one double crochet into each of the next three stitches all the way around. So we're doing two, one, 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 two, one, 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 all the way around. So work two double crochets into this first stitch. And now work one double crochet into each of the next three stitches. and just continue working that for round five. So there we have finished round five and you should have 50 stitches at the end of this round. 
and then to finish off work a slip stitch into the first double crochet of the round and now we can move on to round six so chain one and turn and this round follows the same pattern again but in this round we're going to do two double crochets into one stitch and then one double crochet into each of the next four stitches all the way around so do two double crochets into the first stitch here and now do one double crochet into each of the next four so one two three and four and keep repeating that all the way around for this round two one 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 two one 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 finished round six and I have finished off by working a slip stitch into the first double crochet and you should have 60 stitches at the end of this round and now we can move on to round seven so chain one and turn and round seven follows the same pattern again but in this round we're going to do two double crochets into one stitch and then one double crochet into each of the next five stitches all the way around so work two double crochets into this first stitch here and now do one double crochet into each of the next five and then just continue to repeat that all the way around for round seven So like that, so I have finished working that all the way around for round seven and I finished off by working a slip stitch and at the end of that round you should have 70 double crochets and now we can move on to round eight, so chain one and turn and round eight follows the same pattern so it's another increase round but in this round we're going to do two double crochets into one stitch and then one double crochet into each of the next six stitches all the way around so keep working two one 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 all the way around for round eight So there I have finished working that all the way around for round eight and at the end of this round you should have 80 stitches and now we can move on to round nine so chain one and turn and in this round we're going to do two double crochets into one stitch and then we're going to do one double crochet into each of the next seven stitches and we're going to keep repeating that all the way around so do two double crochets into one stitch one double crochet into seven, two into the next, one into seven, all the way around for round nine. So it follows the same pattern as before, we're doing another increase round. So I have finished working that all the way around for round nine and at the end of that round you should have 90 double crochets and when I got to the end of that round I finished off with a slip stitch and then I went ahead and worked round 10 so I have already worked round 10 here. You can see I have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten 10 rounds. And for round 10, it follows the same pattern. It's really easy. You just want to chain one and turn, and that does not count as a stitch. And then you want to work two double crochets into the first stitch, and then one double crochet into each of the next eight stitches all the way around. So you'll do two double crochets into one stitch, one into eight, two into the next, one into eight all the way around and at the end of that round you should have 100 stitches and then you want to finish off with a slip stitch into the first double crochet that you worked so go ahead and work round 10 like I have just done and then once you have done that we have worked our last increase round and now we can move on to round 11 so to begin round 11 you want to chain one and turn so we're going to 
chain one and turn and in this round this is where our pretty pattern is going to start so what we're going to do is we're going to start off by working one double crochet into the first stitch so work one double crochet into the first stitch here and now we're going to skip the next stitch so we're going to skip one stitch and then into the next stitch we are going to work a V and whenever we do a V we're going to do the same thing we're going to work double crochet chain one double crochet all into the same stitch so we've done double crochet into the first stitch skip the next stitch and now we're going to work a V into the next one so yarn over go into the next stitch and work double crochet chain one double crochet and now we're going to skip the next two stitches so skip one and two and then we're going to work a V into the next stitch so skip one and two and then work a V into the next one so double crochet chain one double crochet like that and we're going to repeat that so we're going to repeat skip two stitches and work a V into the next stitch 27 more times for this size so we're going to do skip two stitches and then do a V into the next stitch 27 more times for this size so we're going to do skip two and then work a V into the next stitch So there we have done that once and now we're going to do that a second time so skip two and work a V into the next stitch and keep going until you have worked all of those repeats and then with the first two V's that you worked so we did our double crochet our first V our second V and then we're going to repeat that 27 more times so with the first two you should have 29 V's for this size so keep going until you have worked that There I have finished working that all the way around so for this round we have our double crochet our first V our second V and then we have our 27 repeats so you should have 29 V's plus your double crochet at this point so I have finished off by working a V here and now what we're going to do is we're going to skip the next stitch so skip the next one here and then we're going to finish off the round by working one double crochet into the next stitch so we're finished off by working a skip one and then a double crochet and you're going to leave these stitches here at the end of the round empty so we're not going to work into these and this is going to go at the very back at the bottom of the bonnet and now we can move on to round 12 and at the end of this round at the end of round 11 you should have 89 stitches so 89 stitches around and now we can move on to round 12 so chain one and turn and this does not count as a stitch and now we're going to work one double crochet down into the first stitch so the chain one doesn't count as a stitch so we're going to do one double crochet into this first stitch here and now we're going to chain one so chain one and make sure you're not working your chains too tight so chain one and then you want to skip the next stitch so we're going to skip this next stitch here and now we're going to do three double crochets together into the chain one space so into the chain one space of this V from last round so yarn over and go into the chain one space yarn over and pull up a loop and yarn over and go through two loops 
So there we have started our first double crochet, but you do not want to complete this double crochet. So normally we would yarn over and go through these last two loops here, but you do not want to do that. You want to stop here and leave that double crochet incomplete and move on to the next one. So yarn over, go back down into the same chain one space, pull up a loop and yarn over and go through two loops. So there we have started a second double crochet, but you do not want to complete that one either. And now we're going to yarn over, go back down into the same stitch or the same chain one space and start a third double crochet and do not complete that one either. And there we have three incomplete double crochets and you should have four loops on your hook and you want to yarn over and go through all four loops to complete the stitch. So there we have worked three double crochets together into the chain one space. And now we're going to chain two, so chain one and two. And remember, like I said, don't work those chains too tight. And now we're going to skip the next two stitches. So skip one and two. And now we're going to do three double crochets together into the next chain one space. So yarn over, go into this next chain one space or the chain one space of the next V and work three double crochets together into this space. like that. And now we're going to do that again. So we're going to chain one and two and skip two. So skip one and two and then work three double crochets together into the next chain one space. Like that. And we're going to keep repeating that all the way around until two stitches from the end. So we're going to keep repeating chain two, skip the next two stitches, one and two, and then work three double crochets together into the next chain one space, all the way around until two stitches from the end. So chain one and two, skip two stitches, one and two, and then work three double crochets together into the next chain one space. And just keep repeating, chain two, skip two stitches, three double crochets together into the next chain one space, all the way around until two stitches from the end. So I have finished working that all the way around. So I worked my last repeat of chain two, skip two and three double crochets into this next chain one space. And I have two stitches left. So I have one and two stitches left. And to finish off this round, you want to chain one, skip the next stitch here. And then we're going to work one double crochet into the very last stitch at the end of the round. So we're finishing off with chain one, skip one, double crochet. And there we have finished round 12 and now we can move on to round 13. So chain one and turn to begin this round. And we're going to start off by working one double crochet into the first stitch here. So you should be working that into the last double crochet from the previous round. And now we're going to skip the next stitch. So we're going to skip the next stitch, which is a chain one here. And then into the next stitch, we are going to work a V. And just as in, we did in the previous round, we are going to do double crochet, chain one, double crochet, all into the same stitch for a V. So skip one stitch here, and then into the next stitch, work a V. And now we're going to skip the next two stitches. So skip one and two. So you should find that you're skipping the two chains here. And then into the next stitch, we're going to work another V. So we're going to do double crochet, chain one, double crochet into this next stitch. And now we're going to skip the next two stitches. So skip 
one and two, and then work a V into the next. And we're going to keep repeating this all the way around for round 13. We're going to keep repeating, skip two stitches, and work a V into the next stitch all the way around until two stitches from the end. And you should find that you are always skipping the chain two, so the two stitches that you're skipping should be the chain two here, and the stitch that you're working into for the V should be the three double crochets together from last round. So keep repeating, skip to V, skip to V, all the way around. So I have finished working that all the way around and I have two stitches left so I finished off by working a V here and I have one and two stitches left and we're going to skip the next stitch and work a double crochet into the last stitch to finish the round. So there we finished round 13 and now we can move on to round 14. So chain one and turn and work one double crochet into the first stitch. So work one double crochet into this first stitch here and now we're going to skip the next stitch and work three double crochets into the chain one space of the V from last round. So skip the next stitch here and then yarn over and go into the chain one space and work three double crochets all into this space like that and now we're going to skip two stitches, so skip one and two, and then work three double crochets all into the next chain one space, or the chain one space of the next V. And we're going to keep repeating this all the way around. We're going to keep repeating, skip two stitches, and then work three double crochets into the next chain one space all the way around. So skip one and two, and then do three double crochets, skip one and two and then three more double crochets so continue to work this all the way around until two stitches from the end So there I have come to the end of round 14, so I've worked three double crochets into this last chain one space and we have two stitches left and we're going to skip the next stitch and work one double crochet into the last stitch at the end. So there we finished round 14 and now we can move on to round 15. And now the next two rounds are really simple, so rounds 15 and 16 are really simple. We're just going to chain one and turn to begin each round and then we're going to do one single crochet into each stitch. So you want to work one single crochet into each stitch for round 15 and then you want to chain one and turn and work one single crochet into each stitch for round 16. So we're doing two rounds of plain single crochet. So work one single crochet into the first stitch here and one into the next and then work one single crochet into the next stitch and make sure you're not working these single crochets too tightly. So make sure your tension's not too tight and then work one single crochet into the next and just continue to work this all the way along for round 15 and then round 16. So there I have finished working those two rounds of single crochets. I have come to the end of round 16. So this is what you should have. So that's what those two rounds look like. And now we can move on to round 17. So to begin this round, you want to chain one and turn, and this does not count as a stitch and then work one double crochet into the first stitch. And now we're going to skip the next stitch here and then work a V into the next stitch. So double crochet, chain one double crochet. And now we're going to skip the next two stitches, one and two, and then work a V into the next stitch. And you should find that the V's are lining up with the previous V's here, so along the pattern. And we're going to keep repeating, skip two stitches, and then work a V into the next stitch, 
all the way along until two stitches from the end. So keep repeating, skip two stitches, work a V into the next stitch, all the way along for round 17 until you have just two stitches left at the end of the round. So I have finished working that all the way along, so I've done my last V here and now we're going to skip the next stitch and work one double crochet into the last stitch here to finish the round. So there we have finished round 17. And now for the rest of our bonnet, we are just going to repeat rounds that we have already done. So we have just finished round 17 here. And now for the next round, so for round 18, you want to repeat round 12. So round 12 was this round here where we did three double crochets together into the chain one space of each V. And then for round 19, so the next round, you then want to repeat round 13, which is this round here. So we're repeating rounds 12 and 13 for rounds 18 and 19. So you want to repeat those two rounds and you can go back in the tutorial and re-watch those rounds as many times as you need to or if you have the written pattern they're both written down nice and clearly on there. So if you have a look at my finished bonnets here you can see we have rounds 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17 which is the round that we have just done and then these two rounds here rounds 18 and 19 are repeats of rounds 12 and 13 so they're the same as down here so you want to go ahead and repeat those two rounds so repeat rounds 12 and 13 and if you wanted to add some extra length or some extra depth to the bonnet so you wanted it to be longer across here so to come out further into the face then you can just keep repeating um, rounds after round 13 until you have the length or the depth that you like. So you need to repeat rounds 12 and 13 but if you wanted to work a repeat of round 14 as well to add a little bit of extra depth then that would be fine. So I have stopped at the end of round 19 which is a repeat of round 13 but if you wanted to go ahead and then work a repeat of round 14 as well to add a little bit more length then that's completely up to you. And then once you have done that, so once you have worked those two rounds, so you have come to the end of round 19, which like I said, is a repeat of round 13, we can then add our ties to the end here. And now if you like, you can just make a long chain for your tie and then fasten off and tie a knot at the end. That would be really simple to do. But what I did to make mine look a little bit neater at the bottom was I fastened off and then I attached my yarn into the opposite side and then I made a chain and I chained somewhere between 50 and 60, but you could make your chains as long as you like. And then I worked single crochets back down the chain and then I worked single crochets all the way around the bottom of the bonnet so all the way around this unfinished edge around the bottom and that makes it look really neat you can see at the bottom and then when I got to the opposite side I made another chain so the same length and I worked single crochets back down that chain so you'll work single crochets back down one into each chain and then when I reached the bonnet I worked a slip stitch into the bonnet and then fastened off and that was how I added my ties but like I said you could just add um, chains if you wanted to make it really easy and quick or you could finish it off a little bit nicer and work chains and single crochets all the way around and then once you have done that we have finished so now you need to weave in your ends so weave your ends nice and securely into the inside of the bonnet and when you're weaving in this end at the back here from the magic circle, make sure that you pull it nice and tight before weaving it in. And then the very last thing that I did was I blocked my bonnet. So I just took the bonnet and then I pinned it in place, sprayed it lightly with water and left it to dry. And that just helps it um, look a little bit neater and keep its shape a little better. And there we have finished. That is it for this video. I hope you enjoyed it and found it easy to follow. Please make sure to subscribe to my channel for more crochet videos. And in the description box below this video, I will leave a link to where you can find the written pattern. 
So the written pattern has really clear instructions for all of the different sizes. So in this tutorial, we made size one to three years, but here I have this little white one is newborn size. And then we have size zero to six months, six to 12 months. So you can see these are all the different sizes. And then the one we were making, like I said, was size one to three years. And in the description box below this video, I will also leave a link to my Instagram account. So I always like to post updates and pictures on there. And I would love to see photos of your crochet work on there as well. And thank you again for watching. Bye.